Hi, I'm David Pinheiro Vicente, and um, I'm talking about uh, my film, Where the Summer Goes, Chapters on Youth, that's here in the competition at the Berlin Now Shorts. Aquelas flores brancas. Também gosto. Hi, welcome to the 32nd Teddy Award. I'm John Borbobak and I'm here to discuss the film Where the Summer Goes, Chapters on Youth, with director David Pinheiro Vissan. Hi, welcome to the festival. Thank you. Um, how does it feel to be part of the Berlinale and in particular be part of the Teddy Award? No. Well, it's, it's been great, it's very surreal uh, still, um, but I'm, I'm really enjoying it and I'm in, uh, seeing Berlin as well, I've never been here, and the festival oh, is, is really cool and all the short films I've seen until uh, now are very interesting, so I'm very happy. Yeah, that's really lovely. So, you are very young, very young. Mm -hmm. is this your first film? Um, the, in a way it is, I've made one before, which is a documentary, yeah. um, and, but this was uh, my final project, it's cool yeah. and it, it functions like a, a first film. Yeah, I see. So, the topic of the film, mm -hmm. it's kind of revisiting the beginning of all stories, let's yes. say. What drawn you to this particular story and, and why in this particular way you grasp um, upon it? Well, it, it actually started from um, um, Emily Dickinson's poetry. Okay. And she was, uh, and uh, how there is a, a, a poem uh, that she talks about the Bible. Okay. And yeah. I, I thought that was very interesting, and so I started to think about the. Uh, she talks about boys in the Bible, lost boys. I started to think yeah. about that and connecting that with the um, or real and also imagine things from my own experience uh, yeah. growing up and yeah. the people that I knew. It was a kind of that connection, but also um, you were talking about religion. It's a very strong in Portugal, so yeah, Catholic imagination. So. Yeah. So it's interesting because you bring in a very subtle, but mm -hmm. an I would say an omnipresent, clear perspective to this mm -hmm. story. Um, was this important to you to kind of reflect in a queer way on this particular story? Um, I think. We talked about and I talked about with several people who are working on the film and in, in, and uh, talk about uh, how I wanted to um, to have a certain presence and ambiguity and uh, the feeling that you don't really know what you want or what are you feeling or or is something unknown and to create a, a, a tension and particular sexual tension between them yeah. and so I think. That kind of feeling of feeling lost and also in your sexual identity, I wanted to do that. But also I think it, that's a bit just part of my personal taste or view and it comes out naturally. So. Yeah, I see. You say, you, you said it yourself, that it's like about a bit like loss and mm -hmm. uh, ambiguity is very important to it. Um, youth is one of the central themes of the mm -hmm. film. Yes. Uh, what was so exciting for you in in tackling this topic of youth and especially with this biblical story of, of, of the beginning? Um, no, it, I, I think it just seemed natural so in a way that I couldn't talk about anything else because I never experienced it. Right. So, it, And the documentary I made was also 
trying to talk about this and other thing, uh, stuff I've made before was yeah. always trying to talk about being young because I always thought that I, I only had my own experiences growing up and I, it was very difficult for me imagining doing something else that I didn't know. Yeah, so you mentioned that uh, sort of the inspiration for the film came from an Emily Dickinson poetry mm -hmm. and, uh, and I felt at least when I was watching the film that there are so many references through the images, the composition of the film to like classical art and, mm -hmm. and, and other art forms. What exactly influenced you? Um, well, me and, and um, uh, Joanne, who is the cinematographer, yeah. we talked a lot about um, uh, sort of composing shots with uh, uh, lots of people inside and yeah. how we wanted that sense of that group in the place. Yeah. And we talked about how we could uh, tell a, also the story of their relationship with that place and with nature and, and in the way that you would do a shot that talked about that and not yeah one thing or the other. Um, I, we, we had a lot of references of framing uh, uh, some people together, particularly for certain photographers okay. uh, that were themselves inspired uh, by painting or okay. very uh, classical painting. And so, yeah, it was... Like, okay. Can you say some names? Um, I, I, I don't know, I'm thinking in particular, but maybe the, I, I remember talking about, w with one of my pro uh, professors, about Jock Sturgis. Uh -huh. uh, he's a really good photographer and he photographs a lot of young people on the beach. Uh, really beautiful. Yeah. So sexuality is very free-floating and it mainly comes out in the way of like, in a form of tension between the different characters. Um, well, it, it has kind of a liberating or a very empowering effect, mm -hmm. I would say. Was this an A? Was this something that you aimed for? Um, yes, I, I, I talked about with the actors, and I, yeah. I, I said uh, I want to for um, for them to be able to show that there could be an attraction between all of them at the same right. time, yeah. and uh, as, and uh, that would be a sort of group dynamic, and they would live that way be between them. Mm -hmm. So in the way that they could express it, or a sort of a feeling like they could do everything they wanted, yeah. but at the same time they um, have boundaries, and so mm -hmm. don't know if yeah. they want to cross them or not, or if show some interest. So I, I think that what I was more interested in how in these groups and especially youth sometimes you have this kind of relationship with everybody at the same time uh -huh. yeah so, and you live uh, these sexual experiences together yeah yeah right the film is also very sensual mm. it's like a hot summer day um, and uh, I was wondering if um, if this centrality has an underlying meaning within the film, it, or what was your purpose with it? No, it, uh, again, it seemed very uh, natural to talk about it this way. And um, the, when I grew up, uh, people were I, a lot of like that. So they would go into very yeah. natural places and be kind of themselves and wanting yeah. to have a more uh, uh, original relationship. With them, with uh, the others, and with uh, uh, nature, with that yeah. space. So I, I guess all that combination of all those things create that sense. Yeah, the film itself is quite fragmented, mm -hmm. and then you also build it up in four different chapters. Um, and I was curious about how this structure came about, and why part, why did you decide on this structure particularly? Well, I was thinking about. Um, this group and some things that could happen to them yeah. and uh, the more and more the the process of the film the more i realized that i, I didn't have an interest in a, a very clear narrative so i had an interest in a particular character and in certain stories and then became chapters mm -hmm. uh, but that could be uh, separate and at the same time linked and that would seem more, much more interesting for what I, I was trying to say and for the shots that I, w I wanted to do, then to try to create a very natural, yeah. I think more um, common structure. Yeah. So you touched upon this, that uh, religion 
is a mm -hmm. very important thing in Portugal. It's a very important aspect of, of life. And then you bring in this, this queer perspective, which is very strongly linked to a very religious mm -hmm. story. Was this something that you, that you deliberately wanted to do and sort of kind of a bit like push the boundaries with that? Yes, I, I think um, that happens uh, a lot. So I think the, the relationship people have with the, their religion or religious past or family and then maybe other questions they have in their lives, I think that exists completely out there. So, uh, yeah. And particularly there, and, and if you, uh, or that time, questioning yourself or trying to look for something, I think, and I think one thing doesn't um, overcome the other. Mm -hmm. So I think both I can completely coexist. I, I try to do that. To, I, to, I, to, yeah. to not, uh, I don't know, censor, I think you can say. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. I, yeah, I see. So, <laughs> queer politics, it's not really the, the central topic mm -hmm. of the film, but still we see. Uh, a very interesting relationship of very different bodies. Um, did you want to reflect on, on queer politics particularly um, in the film? I, I, I guess not. I guess it wasn't a, a very big interest. Yeah. It was something that came with it, yeah. and it, it seemed, I, I think, sometimes the what's if you want to talk about a particular in the subject and you are truthful with it, you end up talking about that as well. Yeah. So I think a lot of times, uh, the more it seems a bit far away, uh, yeah. the more it talk really goes to the core of it. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. For me, one of the most interesting things was after watching the film, it's it's revisiting this this uh, biblical story. And then I was like, okay, this is very interesting because now we see it with a queer angle in it. And I was like, this is just really, um, really interesting in that sense that we very often forget in history about queer voices and mm -hmm. queer resonances. So was this something that that interested yes, you in a way because too? Uh, the, the, and, uh, at, I think here at the Berlin now everyone talks about rewriting and re yeah. rewriting. Thing. I think it's more uh, looking uh, because that that is always there. So I, I think uh, so that is already like, always there. So yeah. it's just uh, I, I I thought um, about it and thought uh, I'd like to tell this the different perspective is just a way of, of seeing that this could have happened as well and we have stuff written down and a lot of most of times that presence is already there yeah so it's more like something that you discovered or uncovered rather than yes exactly put, yes. put over I think, it I think yeah so. yeah yeah are you working on something uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get ideas I'm still a bit um, overwhelmed by this by, and, by, by uh, had a, a lot of time to think, but I, I hope so. Yeah, well, we hope so as well, and we hope that we will be okay. able to see it. Thanks. Thank you so much for the interview, and I wish you a very pleasant Berlinale. Yes. <laughs>